I'm here because I got hit by a scooter on campus. Callie was walking to class when she got pummeled by a scooter. So I was talking with a friend and whoever was on this scooter, I guess, didn't see me, didn't notice there was a person in front of them and hit me from behind to which I proceeded to fall in front of everybody. Um, everyone was asking if I was okay. He fell, his slides fell off, got up very chill, was like, you okay? I was like, eh, didn't really know what to do, really frazzled, but just kind of nodded and he scooted away. To think that Kelly isn't the only person who has experienced this shows the need for scooter safety around campus. I surveyed Furman students in October of 2023, asking if they've almost been hit by a scooter, and 75% answered yes, making three out of every four Furman students having a close encounter with an electric scooter. Chief Milby even had one last week. So I was walking on this bridge probably Monday, and I heard this rumbling coming up behind me, scared the crap out of me. And then the scooter zoomed by, I was so pissed. Because of how often these occurrences happen, I asked Chief Milby what the electric scooter rules were and if there were any that needed emphasis. I think the biggest notable rule um, is pedestrian safety. And so currently our rules allow students to ride electric scooters on pedestrian pathways but they're supposed to not go above five miles an hour, maximum speed limit, and they're supposed to yield to pedestrians. And so I think that's one of the concerns of something that's, that's really not happening. They're definitely exceeding five miles an hour. Um, so that, that's a big piece. To help with prevention in the future, all students should stay aware of their surroundings and visit Furman University's police page and click on the personal electronic vehicle policies and penalties for violating rules and regulation tabs. And don't forget, ride responsibly and scoot safely.